I think between Pharos and Novaria, I might try to tackle a lot of these uh, out in space side quests, and I'll definitely be doing that off camera. Um, well, I mean, without you here, because mm. that is no, like a bunch of Mako running around shit that will just take hours. Captain Anderson said you had information on Banes. Ah, uh, the Banes of my existence. One of my crews found him, frozen stiff on board a derelict vessel. The missing recon group? The one I sent you to find? They were scouting the system we found Baines' ship in. You should have mentioned this earlier, Admiral. Baines is already dead. It's too late for him. I'm only concerned about my team. Someone has to find them. Please, Shepard. I'm counting on you. All right, I got it. Now that that th those two quests have basically collided now. Okay. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Get the fuck off my command station. <laughs> I'm back, bitch. I'm back in saddle like, again. I'm message I'm, coming in. Uh, not gonna say it. Patching it through. Commander, Miss Algelani's story on you just aired. The brass isn't happy with the way you treat her. <laughs> this comes straight from the Joint Military Command. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty awful. Screw her. I don't have the patience to deal with tabloid gadflies who think they're great journalists. Commander, if she had done that at a bar, she'd go home in an ambulance. But they want me to make this clear. We can't mistreat the press. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth fleet out. <laughs> he just sounds so tired. Uh, He's just like, why I did you do that? Shepherd. Shepherd, no. Bad. <laughs> Bad Shepherd. You, you can't punch journalists. Stop. Don't do it again. Who do you think we are? The Bush administration? Ooh, Jesus. That was, that, that was, was, oof. I don't think that was a very biting one. That's pretty low fruit, hanging fruit, actually. I don't know. Did the Bush administration do that? Um, punch press, no. <laughs> no. That's nobody, what I was thinking. Because I was like, what literally, the fuck? I'm just saying, there was that one gaffe where um, uh, Rumsfeld somehow accidentally leaked the name of a CIA operative to the press. Oh. Oh dear. Like blatantly, I don't, I don't remember exactly, but there, they, they did some stuff. Um. Also, Republicans treat the press like shit. I actually remembered something. We can go ahead and do the DLC mission if, if, if that's. If you would like to do that, because it's it's its own standalone thing, and I don't think it takes as much time as Pharaohs. You don't think a DLC mission is going to take longer than a half hour? That's really brief DLC. Uh, let's mix it in. I tell you what, since we did a Liara last time, we can go to this DLC mission, and then we go to Pharaohs, and then go to the other DLC mission, and then go to Navaria. What do you think is better for story? We can really go to Asteroid X at any time. Oh, we can... I tell you what, we can go ahead and go to Pinnacle Station and see what that's about. Okay. It's really kind of quick. Is this the hostage situation? No, it's Pinnacle Station. It's what um it? a cool place to be. Oh, there's no mission associated with it? Well, I'll just show you what it is. I mean, it, we can we can basically, basically do a quick 30-minute review of the Pinnacle Station DLC. Okay. It'll be good. It'll fit the rest of our time slot perfectly. And then we'll stop and we'll, we'll do Pharaohs next time. Originally constructed by the Turians to function, uh, the rebellions. Boop. Isn't that Commander Shepard? A human specter? Whatever. Specter or no, it's always fun to see humans get pummeled in the simulator. 
I, I heard you. Lots of black screening on this DLC. Mr. Ahern, human. I'm on duty. Okay. Ahern. Hmm. Ah, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Pinnacle Station. Thanks I'm for Admiral Taddeus Ahern. Thanks for giving me a reason to turn around. That sun's been blinding me all day. <laughs> I'm glad I got the invite. Where do we begin? You'll be training in the combat simulator. After each round, you'll see how you fared against your competitors. Hmm. How does the simulator work? Talk to tech specialist Ockren if you want the technical explanation. Basically, it creates combat scenarios that allow our operatives to build their skills in a safe but realistic environment. Yeah, replicators, hard light, against? emitters, got it. The best of the best. Alliance operatives travel here from all over to try their hand at the simulator. The scores are tallied, and the winners appear on these monitors for all to see. Get your name there, and the entire alliance will know about it. The scores are tallied. I'm picturing Tally actually holding up a card, like 9.5, <laughs> like in the Olympics. And let you choose a scenario. Who will I be competing against? The best of the best. Alliance operatives. The scores yeah, are tallied. I got it. I got it. Appear on these. Fantastic. Anything else? Okay. Don't worry, Commander. Ahern's tough to impress. Why is that a reason not to worry? I don't know, it's kind of... So, you must be the famous Commander Shepard. <laughs> I'm tech specialist Alud Ockren, lead programmer on the combat simulator. Do you need something? I'm sure I have a few minutes before someone forgets their password and comes crying to me for help. Okay, Let's so one, one of the recruiting requirements for the station is apparently you have to be the most passive-aggressive person the infirmary was ever. Starting to complain. Which combat mode? Time trial, capture, survival, or hunt? Um... Let's go with this one. Sign me up for a hunt mission. All right. I can get you set up in either the subterranean level or the volcanic level. If you want any more, you have to buy our Tell DLC what packages. Tell to do in hunt mode. Defeat as many enemies as possible before the countdown timer reaches zero. You get additional time for every enemy you defeat. The more enemies you kill, the higher your score. All right. I can get you set up in either the subterranean level or the volcanic level. Fine. <laughs> if you try to use a real grenade, right. I will turn off every safety measure this simulator has. Okay. Boo, Shepard! You need to kill to keep a hunt mission going. Okay. So this is what Pinnacle Station is. Slayer. It's literally... It's just training missions. Yes. Uh. What? It's also broken as fuck. What? You knew yes. this would happen? Yes, I did. I wanted but, to get your genuine reaction to it. But. What? That's the entire DLC. Is those stupid missions. Alright, wait, wait, wait. Alright, so if you pick other levels, does it not bug out? I don't know. What do you need? I, let's see. Hunt mission sounded Did the you, best to me. Let's try, let's okay, try another so, one. So it wasn't... You Which didn't pick a specific mode, combination. Trial, capture, survival, or hunt. Capture. That you knew would bug out. You it just, the I picked the one that looked nice. Courses. I'll go with tropical. Alright. The projectors are warming up. Okay. Let's go with Liara and Tally again. Alright, so first we did uh, Evolve, and now we're doing the Far Cry 3 level. This is very simple, Shepard. Reach the point, capture the point, and repeat. Okay, so we got some, uh, happy, uh, whatchamacall. Hang on a second, I'm, I'm reallocating all this stuff really quick. Um, because I want to put shield boost on one, and I want to put immunity on two, and I want to put adrenaline burst. No, that's on four, that's fine. Oh, unity needs to be on three. Yeah, okay, got it. Where's the point? I don't see a point. Do you see a point? Um, I see an arrow, but I don't know if that just like... All clear. 
Wow. Wow. Well. <laughs> this has been out for, what, five years? Mm-hmm. And they haven't fixed it? Mm-hmm. Did it, they give people their money back? Uh, I, I don't know. Wow. But this, um, that's Pinnacle Station. So Pinnacle next time Station. on Mass Effect. Pinnacle Station is a room full of really, like, passive-aggressive assholes and a broken simulator. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're never coming back here ever again. This sure is the pinnacle of something. The p pinnacle of disappointments in this game. Uh. The other DLC is five times better than this one. Oh, just five? <laughs> Five times better than this one, which means it's okay. <laughs> I think that means it's passable. All right, then 20 times better than this oh, one. There we go. Okay, it's better. <laughs> right. It's like... <sighs> oh. Oh. All right. I think I'm just going to leave it there. I, I saved, so I'll just... Actually, let me... I need to get off the station, because last time I saved here... It oh, jeez, it screws the saves up, too? Yeah, last oh, time I gosh. saved here, it was really weird. Like, I, I... It had the telltale signs of a DLC when you entered the room, and it faded to black and faded in, and had a cutscene conversation for five seconds, and then faded to black and faded in, and you're standing right there where you were standing. It's like, Seriously. it should just, it should be just a straight cut. It shouldn't be a fade out for that sort of thing to happen. That's very uncharacteristic. So, like, it had, the, it had the trappings of a DLC. Like, it was coded by different people. But to be outright broken. <laughs> yeah. And left broken after forever. At least I couldn't figure out what to do, slash, I didn't really understand what was going on. The hunt mission, they were like, you've got to kill people to, to advance. And I was like. There's nobody to kill. Mission over, you fail. There's nobody to kill. <laughs> well, there you go. That's the worst Mass Effect has to offer.